Uh, you know, there are just a number of priorities across the board that moderates and progressives do agree with, a lot of which you have just mentioned. Manchin, at least for his part, has said he definitely wants to repeal some of those Trump tax cuts, but everything else has to be means tested in some way, which kind of puts a question mark in just how much of these priorities are going to be in there. Um, that obviously boils down to why the Progressive Caucus has coalesced and stuck together and really just wants to push leaders to get an agreement, get some kind of framework on, on, on what reconciliation will look like to pass this infrastructure bill. My question to you is, you even said it yourself, I've heard it privately, publicly from a lot of your colleagues, this is one big family. And sometimes families have their fights or have their irritations that they have to hash out. At the end of the day, it seems like they do. Um, but how much of this is a trust issue, really needing to know from moderates, specifically those two moderate senators, that you will get a lot of what you are all asking for at the end of the day? My colleague, the chairwoman of the uh, Progressive Caucus said it perfectly, I think. It's more of a trust and verify issue. Um, you know, so I, I, I've i read um, and heard uh, Senator Manchin's comments, less obviously from Senator Sinema, which is challenging. Um, you know, we've, we've, we've got to know where everyone stands so that we can have these conversations and, and look to, to meeting halfway, look to figuring out a, a path to yes for everyone. Um, but I do have faith that Senator Manchin, at least with what, what we've seen, that he wants to get there. But it's, we, we just, we have to be certain, and that's where the verify comes in. We have to be certain that reconciliation doesn't get punted until 2022. Uh, you know, the, the climate can't wait. I mean, we, we've just lived through some of the most devastating historic fires that are a result of uh, climate crisis induced drought in the West. We are seeing flooding. We've seen flooding in the Northeast like we've never seen before. In in my community, we've, we've seen both a combination of uh, drought followed by intense flooding as well. We don't have time to think through when we will address challenges that we should have addressed years and years ago. What we do need time for, though, is to hash out that deal. And I think it can be done relatively quickly. When when I was in the speaker's office with um, four, uh, five of my progressive colleagues yesterday, I I left feeling really optimistic about the work that the speaker is doing to, to, to uh, pull together the details of a plan that hopefully can be voted on. And then, and then, and then we can pass the infrastructure package. We're all ready to pass infrastructure. All of us, the House Democrats, we will, we will have every single vote. So we can take a breather, give the speaker a little bit of time, so that she can bring back a rock solid, ironclad agreement, whether that means a vote or something else in the Senate. And then we can take our infrastructure vote.